Let me say first, thanks to our police department. We do have those warrants and all of the law enforcement agents because they're going out working hard and identifying people who are engaging in crime. And that's one of the reasons crime has come down. What I would do as sheriff is prioritize those based on the dangerousness of it. And starting from day one, we would have a plan to serve the warrant so that we get the most dangerous criminals off the street first and lock them up and put them in jail so they don't continue to reoffend. As has been indicated earlier, primarily the crime problem in Prince George's County is driven by ex-offenders. Those people who repeat again and again, we need to get them arrested. I'm Captain Dan Hall. I've been with the Sheriff's Office for quite some time. I have much experience in working in Warren Squad. Uh, we plan on, uh, the reason the warrants are that high, we have very few people in the Warren Squad and warrants come in constantly every day. Again, like uh, Chief Hyde said, we would prioritize. Uh, we would create partnerships and work with our other municipality agencies and county police, all the other law enforcement agencies in Prince George's County to help bring that number down. Once again, I'm Darrell Warren. And I believe that one of the primary reasons the Sheriff Department has 48,000 to 50,000 warrants is primarily because they have not properly allocated their resources to the warrant unit. If you need to have more than 12 people in the, in the warrant unit to be able to effectively close that many warrants. Under my administration, we would double the number of people in the warrant unit and reduce that. Like I said earlier, prioritize those warrants to level of importance. You know, I, I want to capitalize on some of the benefits and achievements that uh, Sheriff Jackson has made to take it to the level that it needs to be uh, and make the Sheriff's Department more effective in public safety and crime reduction. So increasing the number of people in that warrant unit is going to be a primary focus of my uh, administration. Again, uh, Ralph, you have a little for Sheriff. We have to think of the boss here, folks. Currently, the warrants are held by a name, a name of her. You've got to put in that zip code. You need to know the bad guys that are around you. For example, all the warrants in Hatsville City, we're going to lump them together and go attack them with Hatsville City Police. Wherever these warrants are lumped in, you need to know. When you look at the warrants, the entire picture of where you live. If you sell a repeat a burger in your neighborhood, that's what you could have, repeat offenders. We got to go out there by lumping it according to where these guys are located. This stuff about the education, no, you got to work it. I'm currently working the street right now, Sheriff's Office, and I'm in touch with what has to be done. Again, a vote for me is a vote for we. Thank you.